Okay, the first of the two which I was talking was digital to analog converters also called D slash A converter or in simply as in your terms everything you want to shorten DAC. Okay. Essentially I have a digitized, I have a digital word. Uh, generally it can be coded in number of ways. One, the most standard coding is binary codes or BCD codes. Sometimes what else, else code I do? Gray code or some access codes, access 3, access 5 and kind of some specific applications. But generally most case the digital data is binary. Okay, so any analog voltage which is equal to equivalent of that digital data is shown here. Let us say I have a digital number, a binary number, n bit number. So, what is the way we write in the case of uh, digital numbers? The 1010 0, 0 essentially gives the coefficient of 2 to the power n whatever we are writing. So, first is 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3 and A0, A1, A2 are essentially 1, 0, if this term occurs then A1 is 1, if this does not occur A0 is 0, okay. that is what the number essentially we are talking. So, if you have a n bit number from 2 to the power 0 to 2 to the power n minus 1, this is how I will represent digital number, is that correct? Standard way of converting NL, uh, decimal to binaries or other any code to any code. Then I say with this digital number I will multiply by some constant v, okay. as I repeat this can be 1, this can be 0, this can be whatever the actual digital number you have accordingly 1010 0, 0 will appear. Okay. So I write I take 2 n minus 1 out, so I write v0 is now a n minus 1 half n minus 2 half 1 upon 2 to the power n minus 2 a 1 2 n minus 1 a 0 into. So now I see, uh, so if these are the numbers and these are the coefficient now with age, I, if I can make a circuit which does this job, then I am converting given data into analog voltage. This is constant, V is my fix, I am fixing it, so this is constant. So given a digital number, its coefficient in this form, 1, 0, whatever I write and write in this form, then I get, I get equivalent, if I add all these terms, I will get equivalent analog voltage, that is what we are trying to say. So it depends on A, A0, A1, A2, this V will be varying, V0 will be varying. If this is 1, this is 1, this is 1, all are 1 let us say, so 1 plus half plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 plus 1, keep doing till n and then this is 2 to the power say 8, 7 that is into V. So you just write, add all of it and you get the volt, analog voltage for it. You change some numbers are zeros, so there will be different V0 for it. Is that clear? If I A's are not 1's, then there will be some other V0 will appear. So proportionally, whatever is your digital number, I can create equivalent analog voltage. So we are converting a digital data into analog data. It is not so trivial, but we will see how will we do it. This is the principle I am using. Typically what DAC does therefore, if you see a block diagram, you have a DAC which has a voltage which we call reference voltage, V refer. Okay. It receives a digital word which is n bit wide. So I have in a data like D0, D1, D2, D3, Dn minus 1. Okay. The la first one down is least significant bit, the uppermost is most significant bit. Okay. So what that does? uses the digital data input, does some tricks with this V reference. This is that cons proportionality constant I was talking. So this V reference is something which we are decide how much voltage I want and then I will get an output. What we say the V output is some way related to fraction of the reference voltage. Okay. 
and this fraction of course is a function of digital data okay is that correct fraction is a function of digital data 1010 zero, zero, whatever total you get f will be different v reference is my reference voltage so f times v reference will be v out okay. as i already said d is the word which is n bit white so how many combinations it can give at the input possible 2 to the power n let us say I have a 4 bit number, so how many input combinations possible? 16 combinations 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, keep doing 1, 1, 1, uh, 4 ones. So, 16 combinations. So, larger the bit width of the word, larger input combinations will come. Is that clear to you? Now, my problem starts something like this. So, for example, a 4 bit DAC needs 4 bit resolution and what does that mean? The word which I am now saying first time is the word resolution. Now, what is the resolution I am saying? Since I have a 16 input combinations, okay, for each input combination there will be some V0, let us say V01, V02, V03 and I must be able to separate this V01 from V02 from VO3, VO4 sufficiently accurately so that each input combination has a discrete value of V0 which is different from other VOs. Is that resolution word clear to you? I want to resolve all 16 input combinations at the output independently which can be separated as if and they will be separated equally because each bit changes only by 1. So, for each this it will shift by equal amounts. Okay. So, I want to see what is essentially in mechanical what do we say least count. So, what is the smallest this I can do which will separate the two words or uh, two bits okay. two different input words. Okay. Please remember this word as a eight combination let us say or four combinations uh, two to four bit word that means d 0, d 1, d 2, d 3. So, there will be possible 16 combinations for you and these 16 each should give me V0 which is distinctly separate from the last. Is that clear? This word is called resolution. If I make 8 bit DAC, so what will be resolution related to 2 to the power how many combination I can get? 2 to the power 8 which is 256 input combinations. So, one can see now the same this number if I reduce into 256 separation will be smaller is that correct separation will be smaller the smallest accuracy which I can create. So, I say what is the advantage of earlier last time I showed you some graph you recollect that graph I was trying to discretize something last time I showed what is the game I say as close I discretize I will actually replicate digital to analog or vice versa I as close the digital data is as close will be my a similar thing will be the analog equivalent. So, is that word clear why resolution should be higher because it will give you more accurate conversions. So, one of the major feature of a any A to D or D to A converter is its resolution how much it resolves. Is that clear? Smallest number is related to what LSB least significant bit. So, for that least significant bit what is the next possible number which I can resolve next bit is what I am looking for that is called the resolutions. So, I am interested in so if I have, why not make say 24 bit DAC or 32 bit DAC what will what will happen the hardware which will require to create larger resolution will be larger in actual value itself. So, typical ADCs kya size ke hon, kya resolutions ke liye hote honge? 8 bits most DAC or ADCs are 8 bit resolution if you want more accuracies you have 10 bit 12 bit. Uh, of course, you pay something if you increase bits which this I am not going to tell you there are many many problems in increasing the resolutions there are many errors some of them are called differential uh, errors some are integrated uh, errors some are aperture errors some are quadrature errors. So, there are two gain errors there are missing bits. So, there are large problems in conversions it is also another ADC which we use very often 
is called sigma delta modulators. It is very important modulation in whole of the analog circuit area. Okay. It is actually a 1 bit modulator or converter, but we can do 8 bit collection, 16 bit, 32 bit, many things we can do which is what we will see later that why sigma delta. Okay. But right now assume whatever simple things I am talking just for the heck of information I gave you. Okay, so, this fact is understood by you that I am looking for better resolution if I want to have accuracies of my choice. So, fair enough. So, I define a term f which is fraction which is given by d which is the word that digital word divided by 2 to the power of n. I give you definition so that you understand if d is a 4 bit word 4 bit wide, what is the 4 bit number, smallest 4 bit number, smallest 4 bit number which has the 1 at the MSP. So, 1 0 0 other what will be next 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 1 and 1 1 these are 4 possible numbers smallest among them is 1 0 0 0. So, what is this 1 0 0 essentially in uh, decimal 8 8. So, we define the weight of d is whatever is the smallest this number 8 divided by 2 to the power 4 because n bit you said n is 4. So, 2 to the power 4 8 by 16 is called the fraction which we are looking for. How much is the fraction here? Half is that correct? So, v out will be how much? V reference by half uh, v reference by 2. Okay. Take another case, if you have a 3 bit wide DAC, what is the smallest 3 bit numbers I can create? 1 0 0. So, it is 4, 2 to the power 3 is 8, 4 by 8, f is again half. Is that clear? Let us say if V reference is 5 volt, then V 0 will be half into 5 by this 2.5 volt. It is a fraction of a reference is the word the bit size word bit width you are talking if you have a 4 bit word the smallest 4 bit is 1000 0, 0, 0. and then next number is 1001. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. No, 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 because that, yeah, yeah you, are, you have a point then I will not use the first twos are only I will use only 2 bit numbers. Ha, so, 4 bit width has the resolution which is at the its MSB what is the minimum number I can create because I am going for the 0 to MSB. So, I want to look at MSB what is what number I am going to resolve. Okay. The smallest MSB I am looking is 1000. So, if we have a resolution of 2.5 volt each of them, so every bit will now go to next will be 2.5 volt away from it. So, 5 volt next will be 7.5 fraction of that. Now, there is something that is the reference I am creating which can be any value. I put 5 volt, it can put 1 volt. Yeah, yeah, that is the maximum up to which I will go. That is the fraction of that only I am looking how much I will go. So, for the just look at the figure, okay, then you will I will come back to it if you are saying here is more in uh, things which will be clear to you. This is my 3 bit wide number. Okay, what are the numbers? 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 up to 1, 1, 1. Is that correct? These are the 8 possible combination of 3 bit wide numbers. So, I say okay, I plot here V out by V reference. Okay, I plot here V out by V reference, the ratio. Okay. Then I say what I am really looking is at 0, I want 0, 0, 0. Zero, for 0, 0, 0 output voltage should be 0 because all bits are 0, so output is 0. Okay. The next time when I come with 0, 0, 1, okay, then I say it should be 1 by 8th of fraction should be 1 8th. For 1, 1, 1 what should be the fraction therefore? This is 1, 2 8th, 3 8th at 1 1 1 which is the highest 3 bit number how much it will be 7 by 8. So, at 7 by 8 
and beyond this it will not be 4 3 bit number is that correct so the maximum number which i can create using a 3 bit d dac is 7 8th of v out by v reference or 7 8th of v reference is the maximum voltage i can create and how much is the resolution i am creating 1 8th of v reference correct 1 8th is the resolution that's what i said you so if you are 3 bit number 1 by 2 to the power 3 is the resolution f is the fraction is that resolution is 1 8th smallest number which I can separate on the output is 1 8th of reference. Okay. So, what is the full scale reflect uh, this for the 3 bit code full scale is the how much was full scale here 7 by 8 generally what should I write 2 to the power n minus 1 divided by 2 to the power n put n is equal to 3 8 minus 1 is 7 2 to the power 3 is 8 so 7 by 8 is that clear. So, in general for any n bit code the maximum VFS which I can get the full scale as it is called is 2 to the power n minus 1 upon 2 to the power n times V reference. In our case for 3 bit it is 2 to the power 3 minus 1 by 2 to the power 3 which is 7 8 that is the. Now, this something which I am assuming what is this curve looks like? straight line is that correct the problems which I said in real life this achieving the proportionality is a cause of error there. Okay. So, we may not get the kind of steps we are getting and there is an issue how much we can tolerate. Okay. So, what is the smallest uh, reference this V reference is that resolution is clear smallest resolution is 1 LSP which is V reference divided by 2 to the power n in our case if it was 8 1 8th of v reference is the smallest voltage i can separate is that correct if i want better one then what should i do i want this to be better than 5 8 what should i do i go from 3 bit wide num uh, dac to 4 bit wide dac then i'll get v reference by 16 is that clear if i make 12 bits I will get 1 upon 2 to the power 12 into reference. So, smaller the resolution I am asking for, larger is the bit size of the DAC I will have to use, and larger the size of bits, we will say hardware will start proportionately increasing. Is that point clear? Is that okay? So, this is an issue which DAC people have to attend to. Okay. That is, you can see what we said at 100. Zero zero, it is the see I want to have three values at which I am looking whether I am in straight line 0 0 0 full scale and the midpoint. So, I looked into half I looked into 7 by 8 I looked into 0 and I joined this curve I say I believe that linearity is maintaining myself that means equal spacing of 1 8th is possible is that clear. Okay. Now, how do I implement this kya, kya karna chahi implement karne ke liye? kya lagta hai aapko kaise implement kar sakte hain aapko to analog voltage chahiye to output kahan se nikalna chahiye output proportional output kis system se nikalte hain aap log ek op amp se ek op amp ka ek amplifier lagayenge to ek output voltage proportionate ke input nikala ja sakta hai minus r2 by r1 or 1 plus r2 by r1 times v in can be transferred to v0 but V in kya hona chahiye jo ki is digital word ke equivalent ho to hi main V0 correspondingly nikalunga. Here is the first circuit which is the easiest circuit called binary weighted DAC. Okay, before, uh, okay, before this just see this switch. A switch which I am going to show in my this is the second switch. Don't, this we are already used in sample hold. This is another switch which I am going to use in by the next DAX representation. What is the first thing I am putting here? An inverter, a CMOS inverter receiving an input C bar which is my control. Okay. So, how much is here? C. It is a follower. So, that is C. But can you think if C bar is 0, 
what is the output here? 1. So, what will be output here? 1. Is that followed? If it is 1, what will be output here? 0. So, what will be output here? 0. So, iska input kya kar sakta hume? 0 ya 1 kar sakta hume. Is that clear? Is that clear? If I give 0 here, I get 1. If I give 1 here, I get 0. If it is 1, I have 1 here. If it is 0, I have. So, why in this in between I did? Because I want to buffer it up. Okay. This is my inverter and I am creating 1 0 from an inverter depending on the input I give. I can create input to this. This is input of, of OPAM I should write. This is the line which I am showing you input to the open. Now I will show you, but we are anyway looking for 1 and 0, so let it saturate. So only thing is that 0 is not uh, minus VSS, but it is single ended power supply, so the lower end is only 0. Okay. No, why should you 50? 5 volt is sufficient for almost every circuit in open. Five, most OPAMs are 5 volt supply. The experiment which you give me 741 which we give you is essentially we are using it 15 to show you good working of OPAM. All OPAMs 8576, ILM 321, 323, any numbers you talk, they are mostly 5 volts and these days even lower than that 2.5 volts. There is a circuit which is at 2.1 volt. We are looking for 1.8 volt supply now. Okay. So there are power supply. I told you what is day before I started all this power supply. Niche lao, sub power ke upar hai. तो वहां तो पर अभी तो जो है वो 5 वोल्ट मान लो हम एनालॉग सर्किट में अभी सब 5 वोल्ट का सप्लाई लेके चल रहे हैं ये कह रहे हैं कि ये डिजिटल के साथ नहीं जोड़ना है हमको बाद में जोड़ना तो देख लेंगे विल सी यस स्विच इन द सेंस आइदर इट ट्रांसफर्स 1 और इट ट्रांसफर्स 0 स्विच 1 एंड 0 व्हाट एल्स स्विच डज नो 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 व्हेनेवर इट इज 0 इट इज transferring 0 whenever it is I am switching actually whenever it is 0 I am transferring 1 whenever it is 1 I am transferring 0 it is control because depend on the control I will create 1 or 0 no no for, just do not do that this is the different circuit this is what I am I am going to use some circuit and I thought what is that block inside is this here is what let us see what I am saying here is that switch okay this all square blocks are switches. The switch receives two inputs, one is minus VR, the other is ground 1 and 0 okay. and it is controlled by bit which you are bit n minus 1 that is MSP to LSP. Is that clear? How many of them will be? As many bits do, DAC you want, those many will be. This is MSP, this is LSP. Okay. R each such switch, first switch has a resistance R, second has 2 R, third will be 4 R, 2 to the power and finally n, n minus 1 will be or 0th bit will be 2 to the power n minus 1 R. Please remember the highest MSB will get only R and LSB will get 2 to the power n minus 1 R. These are the resistances. They are connected here. This is that line. Is that ma'am okay? this line, this line is this line, each R is connected at this line, each switch is connected at this, which is the input to the OPAM. PR is this individual, control, 1 and 0 are the bits and a number voltages I am entering through this switch, that is the VDD or ground. Only thing is I am putting VR as minus. Why did I put minus? Can you think why minus? Because yeah, inverting hai toh plus karna hai is liye. Okay. So, dekho abhi kya kar raha hoon mein? The way I am doing it. If this is, this bit is 0, the upper one passes. Is that okay? If this bit is 0, what is the switch performance? Input is 0, output becomes 1. So, this 1 is transferred. This is like equivalently what is it looking like? A circuit or bhi hai jo aisa hi kaam karta hai. A 
it is a max equivalent of a max. So, what it is doing it? If this bit is 0, it transfers 1, if this or maybe vice versa, sorry, I mean I can do otherwise, I can put a opposite of that. Okay. If it is 0, let us say it transfers 0, if it is 1, it transfers 1, okay. sorry, I made a mistake because that is why I did some other this. I will do for all such bits you have, there are number of such switches. Now, depending on the 0 or 1 on this, which is your bit data, okay, either voltage or either this volt or 0 will appear at this. Ye kya, yes, is circuit ko kya bol sakte ho? Summer, it is a summer. So, ye bit hai, to ye volt aya iske upar input nahi hai, to ye 0 ho gaya, okay. Is that okay? The since which allows either this or ground to pass at this depending on the bit availability 0 or 1, I can pass voltage or 0 volt. Okay. If it is 0, it does not add anything. If it is 1, it that is a voltage, it adds to that number. Is that correct? So, this into R, R dash upon R, is that correct? This into say minus V R, R dash upon R into minus V R. If this is 1, I get a V 0 because of this as R dash upon R times V, that is 10 volts V reference. Is that clear to you? If this bit is 1, I will also get only thing is now why, why it is R dash upon 2 R? You see my first figure which I showed you. Is that clear? Half, half ko half create karna tha na. To R dash upon 2 R. Yaha 1 fourth create karna hai to R dash upon 4 R. N karna hai to 2 to the power N minus R. R dash upon that. So, is that this equation now clear? What is that equation? This is a summer. Is that correct? So, I actually summary hi tayar kar di aapko aur ye jo value hai ye mein bhi mein usme adjust kar di minus 10 mein. Is that clear to you? Ye jo hai ye minus 10 mein adjust kar diya aur iska summer bana diya mein. Is that correct? Ye term nahi hai samjho, to ye half nahi aata hai. To ye mere circuit mein bhi ye, ye, ye term nahi hai, to ye zero hi pass karunga mein. So, it does not add to the output. So, I now represent a output voltage which is corresponding to let us say give some numbers say let us say 1 0 and 1 and let us say all others are 0. So, yaha to minus 10 aya, yaha 0 aya or yaha minus 10 aya. So, sum kitna hoga r dash upon r into minus 10 minus sign ho, plus ho jayegi to r dash upon r into 10 plus r dash upon r 1 upon how much? Let us say it is a 8 bit number. So, how much? 2 to the power 4 minus that is 8. So, R dash upon 1 upon 8 R is ka contribution mil gaya. Is that clear? But that can be opposite also. It is only a nomenclature. I can always put what you are saying is valid. I am not denying I am I should not have shown that. Because that was switched somewhere else. I just copied all that I need is this. Irrespective whether I call it C bar, what I am going to get is 0 will transfer to 1. Is that correct? All that I should do therefore, I should put another 1 to create C C bar so that I will transfer exactly 0, 0 here, 1, 1 here because that is what my switch is asking. Ah, drive con karega usse. Drive कौन करेगा? One zero के levels कौन देगा? Signal source आपके पास जो है, वो कुछ भी हो सकता है क्योंकि bits तो कहीं और circuit से आ रहे हैं। तो उसको drive कौन करेगा? ये drivers हैं उसके। ये buffer है, ये drivers हैं। You cannot connect direct। ऐसा तो फिर सिर्फ resistor से पूरा world बन जाता है ना? एक खेल है आपको, एक power electronics पढ़ाया होगा कभी। There is a circuit called DC to DC converters. फिर एक रेजिस्टर को पॉट बना के लगा दो ना काय को इतना सब इन्वर्टर कन्वर्टर लगाते हो 
कन्वर्ट को पहले डी को इन्वर्ट करते हो इन्वर्ट को फिर कन्वर्ट करते हो और फॉर डी सी टू डी सी सो देर इज समथिंग विच वी डू वेन वी पुट इन बिटवीन सम थोड़ा सोचो ओके यू हैव पॉइंट बट दैट देर इज नॉट ए करेक्ट पॉइंट इन सर्किट्स यू मस्ट ड्राइव करंट प्रोवाइड कौन करेगा पीछे वाले सर्किट को उम्मीद मत करो विच आई डोट नो विच सर्किट इज गोइंग टू कम फ्रॉम जो पीछे से जो बिट्स आ रहे हैं वो किस सर्किट से आ रहे हैं मुझे नहीं पता मुझे ड्राइव करना ही पड़ेगा इज दैट क्लियर टू यू बफर डज नॉट रियली गिवस करंट वट बफर एक्चुअली गिवस इम्पिडेंस मैच इसका इम्पिडेंस और इसका इम्पिडेंस मैच कर दिया ये आर कुछ भी हो सकता है अब आई एम लीस्ट इंटरेस्टेड इन अदर पार्ट ऑफ द सर्किट बिकॉज दिस आर इज नाउ इज नॉट गोइंग टू लोड एनी थिंग नाउ बिकॉज ये आर वन के हो सकता है टेन के हो सकता है पचास के भी हो सकते हैं आई डोंट वॉन्ट दिस टू कनेक्ट विद द माई इनपुट्स ओके सो दिस इज बफरिंग ओनली द इम्पिडेंस हाई इम्पिडेंस टू लो इम्पिडेंस स्टेट्स ओके दिस इज ड्राइविंग द इनपुट इट सेल्फ ओके दिस इज डिजिटल ओके सो ये इसको ये तो स्टैंडर्ड आई टू वी कन्वर्टर बोलते हैं इसको एक ओपैम मैंने आई टू वी कन्वर्टर ही होता है ना यहाँ से आने वाला करंट यहाँ जा रहा है ओके इज दैट समर क्लियर टू यू एक ये है एक ये है सम हो रहा है हर एक का जो बिट जीरो है उसका जीरो सम होगा जो वन है उसका वन हो जाए उसके प्रोपोर्शनेटली वो टर्म वहाँ मिल जाएगी आपको और फंक्शन क्या बताया मैंने वॉट आई एम इम्प्लीमेंटिंग इज दिस इज दैट क्लियर सो ए डैक एसेंशियली कैन बी क्रिएटेड बाय पुटिंग सम स्विचेस एज आई शुड प्लस सप्लाइज प्लस ए करंट टू वोल्टेज कन्वर्टर और ओपैम एंड एक्चुअली इट कन्वर्ट डी टू ए एट द आउट इज दैट क्लियर अभी आपको क्या बोला था समझो एट बिट्स है तो कितने ये स्विचेस और ये लगेंगे आठ सिक्सटीन हुआ तो यू कैन सी हम बिकॉज सो मेनी इनपुट कॉम्बिनेशन टू सिक्सटीन ब्लॉक्स लग जाएंगे जितने ज़्यादा रिजॉल्व करने की बात करेंगे उतना कॉस्ट बढ़ता चला जाएगा एक्यूरेसी तो बढ़ेगी बट कॉस्ट भी उतना ही बढ़ जाएगा इज दैट ओके सो हाउ मच एक्यूरेसी यू वॉन्ट यू डिसाइड एंड देन पुट मनी फॉर दैट एक और सर्किट है इसका देन विल स्टॉप ऑन दिस इसको बोलते हैं दूसरा पहला तो बाइनरी वेटेड था डैक दिस इज आर टू आर डैक ये भी बड़ा मजेदार है उसी सर्किट को थोड़ा मॉडिफाई किया है देखो इसको बोलते हैं आर टू आर इसमें स्विच हटा दिया मैंने थोड़े इनडायरेक्टली इसमें एक नॉर्मल स्विच ही दिया इसको बोलते हैं एस पी डी टी क्या बोलते हैं क्या फुल फॉर्म होगा बोला ना सिंगल पोल डबल थ्रो तो एक ही इसमें दो कनेक्शन देता है वो हाँ सिंग पोल मीन्स ये जो स्विच मैकेनिकल है ये पोल बोलते हैं नो नॉट दी अवर पोल जीरो नॉर्मल स्विच जो दिखाते हैं ना आपको वो सिंगल पोल सिंगल थ्रो ही है वो एक कनेक्शन देता है बस अब एक के साथ दो कनेक्ट ऑन ऑफ भी करे और दो को कनेक्ट ड्राइव कर सके उसको बोलते हैं सिंगल पोल डबल थ्रो ओके ये देखो थोड़ा सा सर्किट में बताता हूँ क्या है इट्स मच इजियर सर्किट देन द वन विच यू हैव ए नॉर्मल स्विचेस जहाँ डॉट लगा है वही कनेक्शन है जहाँ डॉट नहीं है वहाँ कनेक्शन नहीं है यू नीड नॉट वॉन्ट टू ड्रॉ ऑल नाइन ऑफ दैम यू ड्रॉ एटलीस्ट थ्री वन टू एंड एन समझो ऐसा ओके यू फर्स्ट फॉरगेट दिस आर टू आर ओनली लुक फॉर दिस राइट साइड सिंपल ओपैम दिखाया गया है आपको करंट टू वोल्टेज कन्वर्टर है इफ पी प्लस इज ग्राउंडेड वर्चुअल ग्राउंड बट नो करंट कैन सिंक हियर is that correct no current can sink here there is no if there is no connection on this line so it is floating if this has no input no connection to this line output remains zero no current i out because remember i out cannot flow if this is at virtual ground there is no sink path yahan kuch sink karne ka hota to current flow hoga so one this is i am looking for a case when in which this floats that means output is zero 
the second time I want this to really go to through R to V reference, some value of V. Essentially, I am saying what I am saying. I will show Two cases I am looking for. One is this is my ground and floating. Nothing here. Okay. So, I out is 0. No input, output is 0. And therefore, V0 is also 0. Second case, positive is that, no, negative is virtual ground, but virtual ground does not sink anything. This is floating. So, current cannot flow there. So, if current cannot flow, output is 0. Okay. Now, Second case, V minus, ek resistance se ek V par aa hai. Oh, but, yeah, yeah, you are, you are right. If there is no current, the output voltage is I times R. But if there is no current here, the current is output is 0, so output will go to 0. Initial condition, if there is nothing there, Oh, you are saying if there is a last capacitor there, it will pre-charge, yes, it retains last charge, but initially it will always be at zero. It does not float, it remains at floating at zero volt, output remains at zero volt, okay. no, nothing is going there. Okay. If there is a V and this is R, whatever I am going to get, if this is the circuit, then what is the output? Current going from here will pass through there and V0 will be essentially I out minus I out times this R, R dash or coding, is not it? So, if I and I out will be proportional to total path it is going to see total I, I will be decided by this and this values, is that correct? From a source V by R plus so much will be I out. V minus this is R equal to R, V minus this is equal to that. So, we find out how much is I out. So, if I out is a function of this, is that correct? I out is a function of this. If this value changes, V out will change. If I out if which is a function of this R, if that R changes or this voltage changes, then I out will change and therefore, V0 will change, is that correct? If this combination allows me a different values at different equivalent of a digital bit, then different outputs will be available, is that correct? Similarly, now what I can do? I can do number of such resistances with number of V1, V2 sum here also again. So, I can have different VR, VR combination as I did in the last case. I can sum all such coefficients with different V and different R to get V0 sum of everything. Is that correct? So, that is the output voltage which is sum of each bit. Is that correct? Now, how do I create this? I repeat the two cases I am interested in in which negative is floating. Okay. The other is it is connected through R to some reference value. So, what I do is there are the D is the date, each, each is a bit. If the bit is 0, okay, I want, please remember, bit is 0, how much V0 I should get? 0, is that correct? 0 ka vayega? Jab ye wala connection jo hai, ye wala, ye kaha jana chahiye? Ye ground pe chala gaya. Jadi mujhe wo bit chahiye hai, to kaha ana chahiye wo? ऊपर माइनस पे आना चाहिए तो यदि ये v प्लस पे जाता है तो ग्राउंड ही कर देता हूं मैं v माइनस पे जाना है तो मैं इसे तो डिपेंडिंग ऑन द बिट आई हैव आइदर आई विल कनेक्ट हियर और आई विल कनेक्ट हियर इज दैट करेक्ट इफ इट इज अ जीरो बिट आई विल कनेक्ट हियर इफ इट इज अ वन बिट आई विल कनेक्ट हियर इज दैट क्लियर दिस इज व्हाट एसपीडीटी डज ओके विल नॉट गो इनटू डिटेल हाउ आई डू इट दिस स्विच बट दिस इज व्हाट स्विच इन वी डू so, if I put R to R network, R to R, R to R, R to R, R to R and additional to R to the ground, I can say 
when they are floating this voltage will be V reference by 2 ratio of the 2 then it is further each will give V reference by 2 of half of that half of that half of that half of that 2 to the power each will be half every time R by 2 R. V plus is always ground. V plus is always ground. So, when this goes to connection here actually I am giving 0 potential to every one of them this is floating. So, obviously nothing is getting transferred from the data side is that correct. So, if corresponding to data either I will connect here or I will connect here if I connect here what does that mean I am transferring reference voltage part of the reference voltage at the output. If I am connecting to the ground I am not transferring anything that is 0. So, if it is 0 I connected to the ground if it is 1 I connected to the V minus point is that correct. So, depending on the value whether it is 0 1 0 0 either it will go to V reference by 2 plus V reference by whatever bits are 1s each will come on V minus through R to R combinations is that correct and corresponding I out is N minus K, K is the bits number I am talking k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 which bit number 0 1 2. So, d k v reference upon 2 to the power n minus k into 1 upon 2 r ok a 2 r this is the output current if d is 0 k is 0 which term will go that is if this is 0 then i out is 0 correspondingly plus next term is 1 this is 1 and this is n minus 1 whatever that value by 1 upon 2 r will be transferred at the output keep transferring plus plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 whatever constant you have and you will get output voltage which is sum of all 1 bits at their position why this number is coming what is this actually going to give me that whole expression you keep remembering all that I am doing I am still doing this n minus 1 half n minus 1 1 upon 2 n minus 2 why same summer I am using is that correct same summer I am using by this circuit and this is essentially it is much easier to implement because only two kinds of resistors are required no switches directly of that kind this single pole double throw is slightly interesting switch some other day I will show you how SPDT works. Is that clear? So, which this is what is this uh, uh, DAC is called? It is called R 2 R, R 2 R. So, it is called R 2 R DAC, ok, very famous. This guy is the advantage of the advantage of since the output voltage has something to do with R, I can adjust the value of V0 by adjusting V reference and the R value I choose. Is that correct? So, resolution can be adjusted by choice of R as well as V reference together. So, for a smaller number of resolution bits I can still get voltages separated by small numbers is that correct by adjusting R values is that clear to you this is slightly modification over binary weighted decks okay, that is why they are used. Last but not few two figures and we end it 2 minutes. We will only show two of them and not discuss read in the Asha, this is not given in Cedra Smith not given in the books which I refer to you as analog books why because they are mixed signals so they are not but you can read any digital book okay, any digital book they will have to ek Sarling ka kitab hai ya ki koi bhi digital hardware ka kitab lije maha ADC DAC jarur dikha hmm. so is course mein kyo padhaya ja raha hai क्योंकि उस कोर्स में नहीं पढ़ाते। देर देर से ओपन इज़ नॉट आवर। वी डोंट माइंड कितना भी डिजिटल देखा हमारे कोर्स में। वी डोंट माइंड। बट दे ऑलवेज माइंड। अरे यार एनालॉग क्यों ला रहे इधर? तो इसलिए हम आपको दिखा पर डिटेल तो आप बता भी नहीं सकते और वो आप आइए हमारे मिक्स सिग्नल कोर्स म this may both problems in actual design may but chill here. There are four kinds of popular uh, dual slip may occur is ka version be hai. Single slope. Ekor be hai multi-step. 
एक और भी है फाइव पॉइंट बहुत है हम आपको आज सिर्फ ये और यही दिखाते हैं दीज आर द इजिएस्ट टू शो एंड दिस वन इज यूज मैक्सिमम फ्लैश वट इज द वर्ड फ्लैश मीन इंस्टेंटेनियस मीन फ्लैश हो गया तो फ्लैश रैम रॉम में क्या होता है वॉट वाइट इज कॉल फ्लैश देयर पढ़ाया ना उन्होंने नहीं पढ़ाया रॉम आपको फ्लैश रॉम में क्या है वॉट इज द एडवांटेज ओवर ई प्रॉम्स और ई स्क्वेयर प्रॉम्स वाई इट्स फ्लैश इज सोर इंपॉर्टेंट इन ई प्रॉम यू हैव टू पुट अल्ट्रा वॉलेट लाइट फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम थर्टी मिनट्स टू इरेज द डेटा ओके इट्स ऑल्सो ऑल इरेज ई स्क्वेयर प्रॉम यू इरेज बिट वाइज ईच बिट इज इरेज वन बाय वन इलेक्ट्रिकली Flash allows electrically erase like a EEPROM in one go, all of it. Okay, that's why it's called flash. All gone, and it is electrical, so you don't need any light etc. to be actually used. Light ka problem kya? Chip has to be taken out, put it below UV this, and first erase and then re reuse it back. In in flash, you don't do electrically. You erase everyone. Okay, that's the only problem is EEPROMs have much longer life than फ्लैश अभी इतना फ्लैश टेक्नोलॉजी अच्छा है कि सब जेब में घूमते रहते हैं ना यूएसबी लेके वो सब फ्लैश ही है ओके सो ये लिस्ट देख लिया अभी मैं इसका एक क्विकली दो एडीसी दिखाता हूँ आपको चलो सबसे पहले नहीं यही दिखा एक कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता काउंटिंग प्लीज ड्रॉ दिस सर्किट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सिंपल सर्किट नथिंग ग्रेट है pulses which is my input to and gate and the other input to and gate is coming from a comparator okay the output of and gate is given to binary counter as an input binary counter mein kya kis type ka counter use karna chahta hu main kitne type ka aapko pata hai ripple counter hota hai what is the ripple counter means output of the first flip flop the second flip flop Okay, there is no common clock. This is not synchronous. It is a asynchronous counter. Okay, so this synchronous counter is not asynchronous. A clock. A pile is me clock input they are. Next time, output of the first FFQ is given to a clock of the next stage. Okay, what does that mean? If you have sixteen pulses. The next will show you one on in eight pulses. Eight wala next third flip flop is a four pulses ke baad. Aisa kyun bolte hain usko? Because flip flop only triggers at either positive edge or negative edge. So negative edge eight ke baad four me milega, four ke baad two me milega, two ke baad. So eight pulses after eight pulse you count only one. That's why it is called counter. Eight pulses counted as one through four flip flops. Okay. जीरो 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 वन आ गया आपको मिल गया फाइनल वन आते कह दिया आठ काउंट हो गया अदरवाइज वो जीरो 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 ही चलता रहता है वन जीरो 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 वन जीरो जीरो फाइनली जब वन आता है वहां पर शिफ्ट होके देन वी से यू आर काउंटेड एट पल्सेस ओके सो हियर इज अ काउंटर आई रिपीट क्लॉक इज वन इनपुट पल्सेस दिस दिस इज अ कंपेरेटर विच इज रिसीव एनोलॉग इनपुट ओके The other input of a comparator is coming from D to A converter. Abhi bata hai na D to A converter, which is essentially binary counter ka output jo hai, wo ek D to A converter ko diya gaya. Kyunki binary counter digital hai, to ye digital ispe diya gaya. Aur yahi se unka bits bhi bahar nikala gaya MSB to LSB. Kyunki ye digitized data hi aa raha hai. Aur ये जो डिजिटल डी टू ए कन्वर्टर ये जो डिजिटल वर्ड यहाँ आ रहा है इसको कन्वर्ट करके वो एनालॉग बना रहा है और ये वी जो है वो वी से कंपेयर कर रहा हूँ इज दैट करेक्ट और उसका आउटपुट मैं एंड गेट को ये क्या कर रहा हूँ पता लग रहा है आपको यदि ये जीरो है तो यहाँ क्या होगा जीरो यहाँ वन है तो नहीं क्लॉक क्लॉक आएगा तो अभी ऐसा करेंगे कि जितना चाहिए तब तक तो ये वन रहा है और जब बंद करना है तो ये जीरो आ जाए इज दैट करेक्ट वेन इट बिकम जीरो आफ्टर टाइम आई डिसाइड देन द्लॉक्स विल नॉट गो ओके एंड वही पल्स जो ये जीरो क्रिएट कर रही है वो इसे क्लियर को भी दे सकते हैं तो फ्लिपलॉप कैन बी रीसेट टू जीरो 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 ओके अदरवाइज इट रिमेन्स वन 
so it always it does not participate. Remember, reset does not participate when 1, okay. when it is 0, it is called reset bar in because NAND gate under. So, ulta karne se wo clear kar de. Okay. Abhi dekho kya kya. If I start, first pulse come, the counter ka first flip flop jo hai wo 1 aega, baki 0 0 rahenge. So, ye one, LSB 1 hai 0 0. First flip flop ka LSB hai, last MSB hai. Anyway, it doesn't matter very much, but for the sake of it. So, ye jo aapko mila pahela bit. 0, 0, 0, 1 samjho aya, 4 bit hai samjho. So, iska D to A convert kya mene? Uske proportionately voltage create kya. Is that clear? Or usse mene analog ko compare kya, jo ki aapka data hai, analog data hai. Since it is only 1 bit, VD is always smaller than VA. So, VA, if it is this, this remains 1. And if it is remains 1, the next clock is allowed. Okay. As long as this is 1, next pulse will appear. Then what is the new bit will appear? 0, 0, 1, 1, some 4 bit ka hai. 0, 0, 1, 0 aega. Phir iska D to A convert kya. Phir isko VD nikala. Phir compare kya. Please remember, yadi second bit 1 hota hai, to power, 2 to the power 1 ke power per 1 ho raha hai. To jaysay D to A converter mein voltage, extra ho jayega. Is that correct? Now start looking here. Number of pulses at 0, the analog output, uh, see output at this uh, step which is coming through VD is 0. Till the second pulse come, this remains 1, jo tha wohi rahega. Second pulse aega, to phir D to A convert phir se karega, do iske liye number ke liye, to jump kar dega. Second point pe chala ga. Till third pulse aane tak wohi raha. Aisa wo upar upar staircase se jata rahega as long as you keep increasing pulses. So, ye VD jo hai, ye badda ja raha hai staircase se. Is that clear? Why it is staircase? Because when the clock is there is still the next clock age, the voltage is retained. Ye constant rehta hai. Second clock aane ke baad hi wo fifth step karega. Seventh step par wo kareeb kareeb VA ke paas a gaya. Jab ye eighth clock under aya, ye isko cross kar gaya. Let us say that is how the VA was. Okay. As soon as it clock upar gaya, to iska, uh, what does that mean? VD is now higher than VA, comparator ka output 0, and ka output 0, reset, binary counter stops at the last value whatever before it resets, it shows you whatever the last bits here which allows VD to be higher than this. So, when the next clock starts, before that you start clear and recount the next VA. You can give another VA and you can start counting again. Is that correct? So, how many pulses ke andar mujhe cross karte dekha hai mene? 8 pulses ke andar. So, how many bits have I got? 8 How many bits have I got? ADC is 8. 8 is how many bits? 8 bits is how many? 2 to the power 3. So, 3 bits is how many bits have I got? This is a 3 bit ADC. 2 to the power 3 is 8. 8 pulses will create 8 possible combinations. Therefore, it is a 3 bit ADC. Is that word clear? Every clock pulse. D to A ka voltage badega aur wo compare karta rahega jab tak ye one hai nay nay clocks aate rahenge finally jab bhi VA ko cross karega whatever MSB to LSB data you are seeing is equivalent of that because uske aage to wo cross kar gaya na uske aage to wo reset kar dega isko, isko zero kar dega to no clocks so is point ke upar jo bhi aapko MSB dikhega MSB to LSB ya aapka digital world hai equivalent of VA. समझो यहाँ कहीं VA लगाता तो कहाँ होता फिर? समझो यहाँ मार देता मैं। तो चार काउंटर से ही तो इसमें ही खत्म हो जाता। तो बिट दूसरा नंबर 0011 में खत्म हो जाता या 001001 में खत्म हो जाता। तो each bit output will be proportional to the analog which you are giving. Is that correct? जितना ये ज़्यादा होगा उतने bits पूरे भरेंगे 111 होते जाएंगे। Is that clear? Is that point clear? 
जितने नम एनालॉग बड़ा होगा उतने तक आपको वहाँ पहुँचने को लगेगा उतना आपको बढ़ाना पड़ेगा बाकी यहाँ कहीं होगा तो जल्दी से इट विल शो द बिट्स दिस इज कॉल्ड ए टू डी कन्वर्टर एंड इट्स कॉल्ड काउंटिंग वाई इट्स कॉल्ड काउंटिंग या काउंटर है ना पल्स काउंट करता रहता है और उसमें एम एस बी एल एस बी दिखाता रहता है एज सुन एज इट प्रोसेस वी ए इट स्टॉप्स ही इज द डिजिटल नंबर ओके दिस इज कॉल्ड काउंटर काउंटिंग ए डी सी लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट ए डी सी जो यूज होता है जो कि वन ऑफ द फास्टेस्ट अवेलेबल ए डी सी इज शोन हियर जो टी सी वर्ल्ड लिखा है क्या होता है इसको क्या बोलते हैं नॉर्मली कोड्स क्या रहते हैं डिजिटल के बाइनरी बाइनरी कोडेड ग्रे एक्सेस कोड्स एक और कोड है टेम्परेचर कोड क्या होता है थर्मामीटर कोड क्या होता है देखो यदि ये वन नंबर जीरो नंबर है फोर बिट का बाइनरी है तो चार जीरो है बीसीडी में ऐसे ही होता है वन है डिजिटल टू है अब इसको यदि थर्मामीटर कोड बनाना है तो इसकी थ्योरी यह है कि पहला तो जीरो 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 ही है क्योंकि इसमें जीरो ही है फोर बिट थर्मामीटर कोड यदि है नेक्स्ट भी सेम है ग्रे में भी क्या करते हैं अल्टरनेट चेंज कर रहे हैं ना जीरो वन वन जीरो वन वन वैसा यहाँ ऐसा नहीं है यहाँ थोड़ा सा ग्रे का मॉडिफाई है अब जितने जैसे वन में जितने ये नंबर है उतने वंस थर्मामीटर कोड में होते हैं एल एस बी की तरफ से दिस इज ये एक्चुअल यूज होता है इसलिए आपको दिखा एंड सो ऑन एंड सो सो साथ में कितने ये होंगे सेवन वन होंगे इज दैट करेक्ट दिस इज कॉल टीसी ये एडीसी जो फ्लैश यूज करते हैं वो टीसी क्रिएट कर रहे हैं इसलिए आपको बता दिया कि टीसी क्या है थर्मामीटर कोड्स एसेंशियली ना यू मस्ट रिमेंबर वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट डिकोडर्स एनकोडर्स एवरीथिंग उसमें हम बोलते हैं कि टू टू द पावर एन यदि एट बिट टू थ्री बिट गया तो डिकोडर होता है एट टू थ्री डिकोडर बट एक्चुअली डिकोडर का ऐसा कोई मीनिंग नहीं फ्रॉम लोअर बिट्स टू हायर बिट्स इज कॉल एनकोडिंग फ्रॉम हायर बिट्स टू लोअर बिट्स इज कॉल डिकोडिंग इट नीड नॉट बी इन द बाइनरी फॉर्म दैट इज टू टू द पावर थ्री नहीं टू टू पावर थ्री माइनस वन भी कर सकते एनी कोड टू एनी कोड लेफ्ट साइड में इनपुट रखो राइट right साइड में आउटपुट रखो और कोई भी सॉफ्ट फंक्शन से आप हमेशा लेफ्ट टू राइट जा ही सकते हैं ना ट्रूथ टेबल इज बेसिकली दैट सो एनी थिंग टू एनी थिंग फ्रॉम लोअर बिट्स इफ यू गो टू हायर बिट्स इट्स कॉल इनकोडिंग फ्रॉम हायर बिट्स यू गो टू लोअर बिट्स इट्स कॉल डिकोडिंग हाउएवर In our digital code, we keep saying eight to three, three to eight, because we want to keep binary values. But ऐसा कोई definition हमने ही बनाया है और वो correct नहीं है. Okay. ये बात समझ में आ गई. ध्यान रखो. If higher bits to lower bits are shift, I say it's a decoding. If going from lower bit to higher bit, I call it encoding. Okay. Code. Uh, so मैं आपको सिर्फ यहाँ इतने comparators लगे हुए हैं. this one of them is my analog input which is my analog each is a comparator and yahan par r ka ek series string laga rakha hai each tap ke upar isko bolte hain taps so ek example dete hain each tap has a voltage 3 bit ke liye kitna ye hoga 1 upon 8 so r upon 2 8r Into V reference is one eighth. V reference is each tap has this voltage. Which is the tap voltage I am saying? If this is my reference potential R upon eight R, is the voltage here? Is that correct? So this voltage is essentially R upon one eight R into V reference. So this is essentially what do we say? It is tap voltage. So reference five is so point six two five volt. Its tap voltage. So the first V one will be यहाँ पर सॉरी उल्टा बताया मैंने यहाँ पर यहाँ होगा आर अपॉन एट आर मीन्स पॉइंट सिक्स टू फाइव यहाँ वन पॉइंट टू फाइव एंड टू कीप पुटिंग एज मेनी बिट्स लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल वी सेवन विल बी सेवन बाई एट इंटू फाइव विच इज फोर पॉइंट थ्री सेवन फाइव वोट्स 
let us say vn is 3 volt let us say vn is 3 volt then what is the temperature code we are looking for 0 is 8 bit 7 bit code by the way temperature codes are 7 bit code 2 to the power n minus 1 bit codes so it is 0 0 why it is 8th is not because 0 0 is always 0 0 so 8th is never used so 0 0 1 1 1 3 volt okay no sir uh, coded to binary see uh, equivalent by, by code kya hoga 1 0 0 is 4 okay okay and this is essentially equal to 0 0 jitne yaha ye honge utne hi ones yaha honge ab mein kya kar raha hoon ki each voltage ko isse iske v reference se connect kar raha okay so correspondingly c1 will be how much 3 0 1 1 1 c2 aise har ek bar jaise jaise aap vin aarega wo compare karke iska data 1 0 1 0 ho kar dega ye jo 1 0 1 0 aayenge इसको डिकोड करते हुए उसको एन नंबर के बिट में डिकोड कर आई रिपीट दिस ईच इज ए टैप ऑफ पॉइंट सिक्स टू फाइव फोल्ड कंपेयर विथ वे इनपुट यदि ज्यादा है तो जीरो है या कम है तो प्लस वन है यू विल क्रिएट वन एंड जीरो दैट दी आउटपुट दिस डेटा करस्पॉन्डिंग टू वे इन इज देन डिकोडेड आउट टू ए स्मॉलर वैल्यू ऑफ डेटा विच इज डी जीरो टू डी एन माइनस वन एन बिट कोड which you can create this is called flash adc what is the why, why it is called flash anything which does simultaneously some things we call it flash okay we call it flash any parallel circuit is therefore acting like a flash anything in serial it acts like very slow because the output of first has to wait uh, to become input of the next okay so it will always be slow okay. so ये हो गया फ्लैश एडीसी आपको पढ़ाया है तो अभी ज्यादा बचन कर ओनली थिंग आई मस्ट टेल यू दी आउटपुट्स यू गेट हियर आर टेम्परेचर कोर्स दिस फिनिश एनालॉग सर्किट कोर्स एज आई एनविसेज फॉर सेकेंड ईयर क्लास आई होप आई हैव आई ट्राइड माई लेवल बेस्ट टू इंफ्यूज यू तो वी फिनिश वॉट एवर इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर ओपैम सो वॉट वी स्टार्टेड विथ basic circuit basic transistors their models then we say okay basic amplifiers theory of amplifications we did discuss frequency response then we say use it can we increase gains or different this so put an integration of that so i fuse defams and i say why not use defam and other amplifiers are used to create even better amplifier which we call opams and then i say okay opams can be used in varieties of ways linear and non linear circuits then i say okay if opams are, then i discuss much about feedbacks then using feedback and this opams we say okay we can create oscillators and we say okay if we use opams with digital or some parts of this networks we can also create a to d and d to a converters is that correct?